We've talked about exclusive or exceedingly rare video game releases before, notably the 24 karat gold Game Boy Advance SP, which was allegedly part of a golden ticket contest in promotion for Minish Cap's release in the UK. The biggest factor of this mystery was how no one, not even Nintendo, ever really showcased or found one of the seven 24 karat gold handhelds. I've found some seemingly legit looking forum posts and dead auction URLs before but we've definitely never had 100% conclusive evidence that these things ever existed as they were promoted to. That aside, there's another incredibly rare console release mystery that was brought to my attention from Izzy Reed on Twitter, who was looking at a console variation database. As you scroll down the page, the releases seem to get rarer and rarer, with the number of units releasing for some models being in the tens, or releases being so elusive it wouldn't surprise me if these pictures are the only ones in existence. As if these releases weren't intimidating enough, at the very end of the webpage lurks our mystery. Our very, 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 very rare mystery. These are Animal Crossing Wild World themed DS consoles, and according to the database, they were awarded to the winner of a character design contest, meaning that only one single individual unit of each exists in the world. However, it also claims that these were customs and that the winner would be in the game. Out of all the information given here, these two pieces are the most interesting. A custom DS would imply that this is not officially licensed by Nintendo, and I've never heard of any kind of character design contest for the game that put the winner's villager inside the actual game. But if there's one last detail to add to the confusion, Izzy also linked me a blog post that claimed some random kid painted this with his brother. I mean, that would fit into the custom portion of the rumor, but definitely not the contest part. So clearly there's a lot of contradicting information regarding these DS's, but I was determined to get to the bottom of it. So the first step in any kind of search involving a picture is to do a reverse image search on Google to see what it would pull up. The site that caught my eye most was Smosh.com of all places, with the article title being 24 Best Custom Nintendo Handhelds. Now the only reason why I clicked on it is because I thought this would literally give me my answer and end this search. That kid's blog was probably right, it was just some random custom that for whatever reason, people thought was a contest prize. Upon scrolling past the plethora of without a doubt customs the article featured, I came to that same image of the console. Unfortunately, there was no description of what it was, which is what I was hoping to find. Though maybe this was a good thing. Instead of some brief write-up, there was an actual source for the image. So I clicked it and it brought me to a website called BritishGaming.co.uk. I started reading and the site was talking about casinos, so I knew this was likely a dead site. That can easily be fixed though, pop it into the Wayback Machine, and now we're in business. Just as I suspected from the URL, this site used to be a UK based video game news site. Now the mission was clear, this image definitely originated from this website, so now I just had to find it. Somewhere. Thankfully I found the site's archives, and looked up when Wild World came out in the UK. I used these dates to approximate the time when the contest would have taken place, and within a few minutes I found the picture. Though confusingly, the actual post said nothing about what this was or where it came from. I was a bit stumped, until I scrolled down to read the comments. There was one guy who explained exactly where the DS came from and linked his source. Upon clicking the link open, I get a page all in Swedish, and translated, it appears to be a contest rules and entry page. Reading forward it says, draw, model, sculpt, or otherwise design a new inhabitant of the Animal Crossing world. It also claimed that the first prize was an exclusive DS, a copy of the game, and a t-shirt. That matches up exactly with what the console database site had claimed. On top of that, something else that I noticed about the URL is that it says gone, which is the watermark on the picture. Taking all of this into consideration, I'd say with certainty that this is the origin page of the DS. But what about its authenticity? Well, something else the article says is how the contest is in collaboration with Bergsala. What's Bergsala, you ask? A quick search explains that, located in Sweden, they were the Baltic and Nordic agent and distributor for Nintendo products of the region since 1981. And that means, yes, this DS was officially distributed by Nintendo, making it authentic. That's cool and all, but the story doesn't end there. While we now know the origins and authenticity of the DS, where is it now? Finding prize winners is not only a process that's exceedingly difficult to perform, but the likelihood of the winner still having their old prizes is often pretty slim if they don't stay interested in their old hobbies. This contest is over 10 years old after all. What's really amazing is that this site ended up posting the actual winners of the contest, and it's backed up. On this page, you can actually see the entries that the three winners submitted to the contest, in addition to their names if you scroll down a bit more. 
According to this page, someone by the name of Simon Flusser placed first, for his whale sushi character designed to be reminiscent of the graphic style of the GameCube game. A pretty cool art piece for sure. But of course, I wanted to contact this guy and ask him if he still had his legendary prize. Well, after just a little bit of searching around, I was able to find an active account of his and get in touch with him. He was a really nice guy, confirming with me that yes, he was the winner of the contest, while also being a bit curious how on earth I was able to find him. After a bit of explaining who I was, I asked whether or not he still had his prize. And, amazingly, he did. He sent over a few different pictures of it, which was very cool because many of these angles and designs we never saw from the promotional pic on Gon's website. Turns out that Simon actually has his own little game-esque studio, so it makes a ton of sense that he's held on to his prize after all these years, and I'm really really glad to know that. But even at this point, the full story doesn't end there. Let's go back to the console database. Now we've pretty much wrapped up the story with the first one, so now it's time to move on to the other DS. Where is this one, and how was it won? Well, if we go back to that British Gaming UK website into that comment with the link to the entry page on Gon's site, there was a second link he posted with a URL called Nintendo-SE.com. A quick page translate reveals that this page is a trivia contest in celebration of Wild World's release, where you just answer multiple choice questions. The questions are really easy, and it looks like the winner was just selected by random. There's an email with the Bergsala name included right on the page. Nintendo's Swedish website is Nintendo-SE, meaning that yes, the Winter DS is officially licensed by Nintendo too, although the database didn't make mention of this trivia contest. Unfortunately, even doing a reverse image search of the only pick of this DS didn't pull up any clues as to who owns it, so I have no idea if it even still exists. I also don't know if the artist who drew the designs was anyone notable at Nintendo, or if they just had a random in-house employee create them. At any rate, these are very very cool pieces of memorabilia that I had never even heard about until Izzy sent me her initial question. I'd be pretty shocked if the Winter One ever surfaced again, and while it's almost a guarantee we'll never get to see these DS's outside of these pictures, it's still a really cool feeling knowing that they exist as official Nintendo consoles, and that at least one of them is still in good hands. <laughs> 